So in this video, I'm going to be doing a working drawing, which is a drawing we use to help prepare for manufacture. The project I'm going to be doing it on is this toolbox that you can see in the picture. It's made from wood, so you can see it's got a cylindrical handle at the top and it's got corners inside it that join it together. This working drawing is specifically to help someone make this toolbox if they were in a workshop. So they're going to be looking at this drawing to see how parts fit together. And one of the best ways that we can do that, that we can show that information to them, is to draw what's called an ortho orthographic drawing, which has got three views. It's got a, a front view called the elevation, a side view, which is the end elevation, and a top view, which is the plan. And each view will have different bits of information on it. And as you can see here, when I'm drawing this front view in, you can see the two sides that are standing up. And this here is the handle that goes across between them. So it's all drawn in 2D. When I'm drawing it, um, I'm not measuring anything. I am just judging proportions. Sometimes when you do a orthographic sketch or drawing, you do want it to be drawn to size and if that's what you prefer because you find it easier that's fair enough but you will have to scale it down so it fits on your page. We're also going to be um, including some hidden details and these lines that I've just drawn this line here is indicating the base of the box which is a dashed line and you can see in the side view this end elevation the dashed lines showing the two sides I'm going to draw here uh, the plan view, which is the bird's eye view. And that's going to show me um, how wide the box is. And this is a good opportunity to talk about um, judging proportion. So before I start drawing this, I'm just thinking what sort of gap it needs to be. And I'm measuring that with um, two fingers, um, just to see how far apart the end elevation is from the elevation, so that the plan is of equal distance. And I'm going to do that once more. I'm going to measure to see how wide the elevation is. And I'm going to do, just do that by placing my hand on to see how wide it is and then moving that over and marking that off on the bird's eye view. Now, as I'm drawing these three views, I'm thinking all the time what it looks like in 2D and I'm making sure that the top view is in line with the front view and the same that the side view was in line with the front view. So they're the same width as each other or the same height as each other. And I'm also importantly drawing on the thickness of the walls. And you can really see that in the plan view here as you look down on this, that I've drawn in how thick each of the um, pieces of material are. Often that's, a, that's an easy thing to miss out and forget that material has a thickness. And you can see the handle in the middle that I've uh, lined in as well. A bit of colour is really going to help make this stand out. Before I do that though, I'm going to label it and I'm going to put on very simple what's called balloon notes, which is just labelling each individual part. You can see I've just quickly drawn in um, a part that I hadn't yet included, which is four corners. And these triangular pieces are what holds the toolbox together and they're screwed in to the uh, end pieces at each side. And as I label them, I just need to label one of each component. So I've got five parts, A to E. Just going to very quickly add a little bit of shading. And to make this look like wood, this time I'm going to use some pencil. And I just lay a yellow pencil on its side and just lay down a very light kind of covering of uh, yellow. Um, and this will just give the wood, as we colour it in, a bit of a brighter look on the page. And then after that, I'm going to get a brown pencil and go over it with a bit of brown. Now here I'm turning the pencil on its end and I'm just adding a little bit extra shading in to make some components stand out from others. Adding colour to a working drawing is completely optional, you really don't need to do it. 
but in design and manufacture it helps things stand out. And I'm just finishing this off by using the end of the pencil to add a little bit of wood grain um, to, sh to show some texture. So now what we're going to do is start adding some spices in and we're just going to put the main dimensions in that will help someone make this box. We're not going to overload it with too many different sizes. Now to do that we're going to draw a dimension line and we're going to draw that line in line with the height of the box and at the end we're going to draw in some little thin arrows which will indicate that this is a dimension line. And next to it, as you can see, I've done just lying on the left hand side, I've written in the size of it, which is I think 230 millimetres. All dimensions are always in millimetres, so you don't have to add in the mm for mil, um, you just leave it as a number. You can see here I'm drawing in the width of the box. And before, as I drew the dimension, I extended some lines out from the edges of the plan view and this allows me to draw the dimension line in accurately with the width. And I'm doing that again here, just drawing in um, the length of the box. It's nice to draw things like that on the plan view, the overall length. Here I'm going to um, add in the details of the handle which goes in to the sides of the box a little bit. And I'm going to draw in the width of the handle, or the, sorry, the length of it, which is, I think, 385 millimetres. And I, I go on, I go round the box, just picking out what I think the key sizes are that would enable someone to make this in the workshop. Perhaps they need to know the height of where the angle is going to be, or um, the size of these triangular pieces that are on the inside. And you can copy, as I do, um, these different dimensions as I lay them down and uh, go around your own work putting in different sizes. This one here is a diameter and I put in a little diameter symbol to show that that is a circular um, piece of dowel which is 22 millimetres thick. The purpose of a working drawing is to allow someone to see how something fits together all the different components and the dimensions required to make the product. So you should have a go either copying this video or of a project of your own and use this as a reference to help you lay things out, hopefully make things look quite clear.